people, the best thing you can do with your money now is go to the casino and put everything on black. And today, we're gonna look at some more questionable financial advice from financial gurus. And I was still ill, that's why I sound like this and look like this. But yeah, we move, I guess. There's a lot of bad advice online. If you ever need financial advice, it's probably not the place to look for. First, I want you to imagine waking up what do you need in the morning? Do you need a coffee? Personally, I don't like coffee, I don't drink coffee, but many people do need or want coffee in the morning. But have you heard that this is really bad for you? Like really bad for you, really bad for your financial situation. Coffee is basically the worst thing you can do to your wallet. You haven't heard? Well, look at this. It would be one thing if you had a cup of coffee once a week, maybe three times a month, but that's not what you do. You go in every single day. It's a ritual. It's part of your day. And you spend a dollar to three dollars on a cup of coffee, which is approximately a hundred dollars a month. Well, first of all, your math is wrong. Okay, let's say one to three dollars. Let's, let's go with the worst case, which is three dollars, yeah? Let's say every day in a month. Let's say 30 days because some have 30 ones, one has 28. Let's go with 30 days. That is $90, okay? Worst case scenario. Best case scenario, it's $30. Where's the 100? I, I can't lie. I don't see it. Do you see it? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? If you saved a dollar a day for a year, do you know how much money you'd have? Roughly $30,000. Let me not buy anything anymore. As I said, I don't drink coffee, but I imagine a lot of people do. Oh no, this one dollar helps you be more productive. That's so bad, you should stop because, because you're missing out on a million dollars. Well, you, you, you buy less food so you can have more money and you just starve yourself? Anyway, who, like 40, over 40 years time, you know, you know how much money you spend over 40 years time on other things? I don't think the coffee is gonna, gonna be the problem there. You know what I'm investing in next time? shares of Starbucks because then I get paid when you get your coffee. That's some big baller moves. I would smart at the system. Now I get paid. Some people really need caffeine to, you know, get going in the morning and be productive. What are you gonna say to them? Just get a taste of your lukewarm thoughts in the morning. That works perfectly fine. Anyway, I can't lie, it's a bit dodgy who buys coffee every day. It's, it's, not, it's not because of the money, it's just weird. If you drink coffee every day, why not drink it at home, why you always go to shop? But me and myself, I'm 21 years old and I have deep regrets. Why? Because 13 years ago, Bitcoin was so low, I should have invested instead of going to third grade. Why am I so stupid? Don't make the same mistakes as I did. A lot of financial gurus out there, they say, yo, you should have worked your ass off when you're 12 so you can reach financial freedom later. When you're like, okay, um, but where, like, where's the part where I grow up and have fun? Oh, you misunderstood. You thought you're gonna have fun in in this economy? Nah, hell nah. No, no way. Just focus on your money. Even if you're 95 years old, don't spend it. In 40 years time, that's a million, okay? Yeah, let's let's see. Maybe, maybe I can get some tips on how, where to invest or how to invest early in my career so I have money later. This is what happens if you invest $10,000 by the age of 20. Brother, you think if I had $10,000 lying around at 20 years old to invest. I would be looking at your video. No, I don't think people that have this kind of money lying around need your advice because they already got $10,000 lying around at 18 years old. A lot of financial gurus say you start early, but the best way to grow your business is to do good marketing. Let's see how good marketing looks. Maybe I can learn something. Let's see how you market yourself well. Big question everyone always asks, what's like the product that I should start mm. with? Honestly, it's never just about the product, it's about the brand. The best brands out there, especially. Okay, here we have a clip of a guy on a podcast. You know what, there may be some criticizing comments, but critical comments are always good, you know, you can improve. Let's see the comment. It says too many podcasts snooze. Now, now what would you do in this situation when you get a comment like this? Would you one, ignore it, that's the way I would do it, or two, engage with the comment. That's the point this channel did. Now how would you engage? One, would you engage with maybe saying, you know what, there's so many podcasts, but trust me, mine is good or mine is better than all of these. Or would you do it differently? Yeah, they said, don't watch kiddo. That's how you gain subscribers. That's how you gain people on your page. Damn, I didn't know that's how I grow my business. Top 10 fail-proof marketing strategies of all time, I think. Hey, I have the best product in the world. Look at this sponge. This sponge is the best sponge in the world. There's just so many brands with sponges though. 
Don't buy it. Don't talk to me again. Don't buy sponges. Go away. That's the best strategy if I've ever seen one. Damn. Okay, straight to the point. But let's say I didn't start early enough. And really, unfortunately, I'm not rich. I'm 21 years old now and I'm not already rich, which is a big problem, yeah? That's a very big problem. I need to get rich quick. How do I get rich quick? Oh! Someone answered that question. All right, let's see. In your opinion, what is the best way to get rich? That's a good question. Thank um, you very much. What a great question. Never heard, never heard a question like this before. What a creative question. How do you feel now your team has won this close and incredible match? What a great question. I've never seen a more extraordinary question than this. Let's get you promoted. You know what? You should play. You're such a creative and smart man. You should play. What a good question. The best way to do it is, I think the best way to do it is just to find a skill or a, a place, like a very, very small area where you can provide value. You really just need like a hundred grand. And then you could start investing it. You can start playing with it. But you really need to build up the first 100 k Right then, I want to know how to get to this point, not what you do. If I have 100k, as I said, if I have my first 100k, I probably know what to do with it because I reached that point. How the hell do I reach that point? Find a niche and find value to provide. That ain't real answer to this question. That's like, be good in something and make money with it. How do I do this? Don't ask too many good questions. Let's let's make my first 100k then. Who's gonna give it to me? You? You, you give me $100,000? Right then, hey, here's my PayPal. Go donate it. I won't, I won't actually put my PayPal in there because I'm, I'm, I'm not a beggar for money, okay? I wanna work. Anyway, when you first get your 100k, then it's easy to be rich. Well, I guess if you say so, I wouldn't know I don't have that kind of money. That's like asking a tennis player, how, how to get better at tennis? Well, maybe become one of the best ones in your league and then start from that point. A lot of financial gurus tell you to take up side hustles. So let's see. What side hustles are the best? In the last five days, my side hustle has made me this much money. $9,150. The craziest part is that that's actually low for me. Okay, sorry, yeah, just tell me. Don't need to flex on me. What was your side hustle? Getting paid for letting people ski on your forehead? What the f*** is that? That's a landing field. Damn, if, if I had that head of yours, I could think of five side hustles that make $9,500 a month. But anyway, this video is 1 minute and 14 seconds long and he actually doesn't tell us what a side hustle is. Which is, like, that's a lot of yapping. And what do you do if you're in poorer countries? How do you make 100 K dollars if you live in like Vietnam or something, you know? Like the currency there is worth way less. Like if 50 cent goes on a show in Vietnam, brother, he ain't called 50 cent. He is called 13,763 Vietnamese dong. That's low value 50 cent. I'm sorry that you Americans have to suffer now. It's always Americans that do these weird statements. For context, yeah, many European countries use a currency called euros. You may have heard of it. Now let's see what Americans have to say about euros. If you've never been to Europe and you've never used a euro, I'm gonna show you that it feels like monopoly money to spend it. You have to go to ATMs to like get the cash out and the conversion rate first off sucks. Like the American dollar does not go very far. Anyways, you pull out the cash, from, like you know when you go to an ATM from your debit account, your checkings account. However, what comes out looks like fake money. Like every time someone's like, oh, it's only 20 euros. I'm like, take my money. If you would go, if, put me back in freaking Ohio and ask me to spend $20 on a shirt, I look at you like you're clinically insane. Or like even, we're going to Mykonos tomorrow, and they're like, oh yeah, the drinks are more expensive, they're like $18 to $20. I'm like, this whole thing? Take it. Like I've paid for like a lot of my friend stuff here because I'm just like, it's fake. You can't tell me that this just isn't Monopoly money and I'm just playing like banker. Oh no, this person has just done what we call a stupid. Because damn, you're gonna have a rude awakening when you look at the course. Because euros are worth more than dollars. I can't imagine she walks up to a homeless man and gives him 100 euros like that is $110, you know what I mean? That's dangerous, you know? I need, to, I need to make a good amount of money very quick. What do I do? What do I do? I haven't figured out the answer so far, but I think I know a guy who knows. This is super illegal and I would never do this, but this is probably the fastest way to make $3,000 in a single day. But if you're in a bind and you gotta make rent on Monday, you can do this right now. All I would do is I would go to ChatGPT and I would say, ChatGPT, how, what are 10 steps for a single mom to make six figures a year? It will give you a list of things that you can do. You basically take that stuff, expand on it in a Google Doc a little bit, and then make it a PDF, like make it look nice, like on Canva or something. Then I would go to Facebook groups where all these moms are hanging out. Cool hack, 
women between 35 and 50 will pretty much buy anything. Just write a message that sounds like a human, doesn't sound like a bot and be like, yo, ladies, like, I can't believe this, but I somehow just made six figures using this, this PDF. Like, you have to try this. Like, it's literally insane. If I find you in the street, no way. That is horrible. Imagine someone doing this to your mother. Just because they're more gullible on Facebook, seeing your mothers on Facebook because they need the money. They're like, oh my god, I, I, need, to, I need to make ends meet. I, I take any advice I can get. And you're scamming them? Get rich quick by exploiting people who need it. Let's go. Might as well steal from the homeless. What's this? What a disgusting human being, I can't lie. We all know Facebook moms are oftentimes willing to buy stuff that is not really needed. Nah, I'm pissed off. Let's end the video here, yeah? People, I think, actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's enough internet for today.